I'm Chris Lafferty. I've been a season ticket holder for 36 years. We have two separate sets of seats, one set in section 107. We sit in row 13, seats number 22 and 23. And then also another set in section L, row six, seats one and two. Recently retired, Chris became a season ticket holder when his partner at his OBGYN practice, Bill, suggested they pitch in on some tickets together. Interesting enough, Chris agreed, despite having no interest in baseball at the time. I was more of a water person. I swam and played water polo. So land sports were less exciting to me. I found football and basketball much more exciting, and I didn't understand baseball. To me, it was like a checkers game. And as I started going to the games and appreciating it, I realized that it's really three-dimensional chess, blindfolded. And the strategy, the knowledge, the managers, the players have to have on each individual setup in each individual game is startling. The game is a very complex, interesting game. And as I got older, I started to appreciate that more and more. And as the complexity grew, uh, it became, became part of me and something I enjoyed going to. Over the last 36 years, Chris, his wife Monica, and their son Spencer have collected some incredible memories. Spencer even got to be the play ball kid on his fifth birthday. For Chris, his favorite memories include a couple Padre legends. My wife and I had a chance to watch Tony Gwynn and Matt Vaskersian in the broadcast booth during a game, and after the inning that completed, both Matt and Tony stood up, turned around, introduced themselves to us as if we didn't know them. Said, hi, I'm Tony Gwynn, shook my hand. Matt did the same thing, and I was just in awe. I said, well, you guys don't need to tell us who you are. And Tony was very humble, very pleasant. Um, autographed a hat for myself and my wife, and then I gave it to Matt to sign. And he said, no, 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 I'm just gonna lower the value if I sign it. You've already got Tony Gwynn's autograph on it. So he signed another, another hat for me. The other one that really stands out, it was an opportunity to meet Jerry Coleman at a wedding. We had a mutual friend who was married. I didn't, didn't know that he was going to be at the wedding. And after the wedding at the reception, I saw him across the room. And I usually try and leave celebrities alone at things like this, but I really wanted to tell him thank you for all he's done for the fans, baseball, and his service to the country. So I somewhat gingerly approached him and said, Mr. Coleman, I introduced myself and I said, I really wanted to say thank you for your service and what you've done for baseball in San Diego. Shook his hand, I said, it's a real honor to shake a hand of a hero from the greatest generation. And he quickly deflected my praise for him and my adulation. He said, no, 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 every generation is a great generation. And he spoke highly of the folks who fought in Vietnam, Iraq, currently in the armed services and what they do. And so as I tried to keep telling him how much I admired him and respected him, he kept deflecting that praise and put it on other people. And that's, both of those were indicative of stories I'd heard about Tony and about Jerry Coleman, that they're very humble and very pleasant, very approachable. And those two off-field events really stand out for me. Looking forward to making even more memories with this year's promising young team, Chris appreciates the commitment the Padres front office has made to bolster the lineup and deliver a playoff caliber team, including pickle beating Fernando Tatis Jr. There is a distinct hope and difference in current ownership and the approach the team is playing, the commitment that they've made to sign quality players to make sure Manny Machado is here. We've got Fernando Reyes, young, lots of energy. Fernando Tatis Jr. comes out, plays with enthusiasm, and a childlike approach to the game, which I think is refreshing. It's really a nice stamp of hope for the future for this team.